Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, and today's guest. So for a guest, my job is today is to evaluate Marianne's speech. She spoke from the manual competent communicator. It seems like the old version of it. And it was a project five, your body space. Title was stress buster. <coughs> As we know that Marianne demonstrated a lot of great techniques when, when she's here. And I really appreciate every time I observe, I try to impart those, including the, the preparation, what she does with the, the properties and everything. But then this <coughs> specific project is focused on your body specs. And there are a few points as per if I go with the script, that I will need to evaluate her. So going with the script, I think first topic, first point was the topic selection. I wouldn't call this topic was very specific, which could improve the body gestures or the body speak, body movements for the speaker here. But anyway, Marianne brings those all movements or any topic she could have used and made that successfully using these all techniques. But the important part which she did in this speech was involving audience. And the topic was such a way that you could involve the audience. She did demonstrate the exercise. She called volunteer and volunteer could involve. That gives a lot of involvement from the audience in the topic itself. And they, they get the closer feel of what she wanted to convey. So good topic in that way. Preparation, every time I commend your preparation. Be this all cards and everything, even the water you have could have bring just, just to clear water. You put some color in that. So it's a lot, small little point basically makes your that last one inch which it required to win that win that race. The body movements. I see you started with came here, started with the big smile, and then you waited a couple seconds for previous speaker to sit. And that is a very important trick. If you start speaking immediately before the person sits, it's basically a little bit distraction to other people because that person could make a noise, chair noise or anything. So it's good techniques. She used this whole space very effectively. When she used the scenario, first scenario she was here and she moved a little bit, couple steps here and then put another, painted another scenario. It's called like a painting technique, right? You have one side, another side, and then you can point it out. This scenario, happy scenario, this is a frustration scenario. And it's a nice huge of stage here. <coughs> Whenever she stands here, she has a kind of spring in her knees, like every time, stress. And it makes basically your posture a little bit more friendly to audience, and that's a great technique. And a lot of things I can go on and on, on the body movement, smile and gestures. But I think a couple of things which I could, uh, I could uh, identify for improvement, one thing is that you could have held this picture a little bit more longer so that everybody could see this one because it has a light impact on that. And the second one basically, when you was giving these techniques for the meditation, you could have slowed down a little bit. But other than that, get speech, back to our Toastmasters. <laughs>